Hello. Today we'll be working on solving proportions. Proportions are when we have a fraction equal to a fraction. And it, we have a variable that we're looking for. So we use one technique for this called cross multiplication. The way to use cross multiplication is to first wrap any binomial, that's what those are when there's two terms in there, binomial, we wrap the binomials in parentheses and then we multiply upward in a cross-like pattern. So let's do these examples. So first we wrap parentheses around the binomial. And then cross multiply. And so this will be 2 times x minus 2. And 3 times 6. And this is why we wrap them in parentheses, because now we have to do a distribution. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and 3 times 6 is 18. Now we solve for x. So we add 4 to both sides, and now we divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 11. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay, so first we wrap the binomial in parentheses. and then cross multiply. So on this side, we'll have six times x plus one, and three times 14. Now we distribute. And three times 14 is 42. Now we need to get x alone, so this 6 has to go away first. And now to get rid of that 6, we divide by 6. And 36 divided by 6 is 6. Okay. Now these two examples, our answers came out as whole numbers. Often the answer won't be a whole number, but instead will be a fraction. That's okay, you just have to remember to reduce your fractions. Okay, so our first step is to wrap in parentheses and then we can cross multiply. So x minus 2 times the 7. And 
and 5 times 10. All right, now we distribute. And 5 times 10 is 50. Now we got to get rid of the 14. So it's currently a, a negative 14. So we're going to add 14 to both sides. And we get 7x is equal to 64. Now we divide both sides by 7. Now, 64 isn't divisible by 7. So we leave it as 64 over 7. But sometimes your answer isn't listed this way, but instead would be listed as a mixed fraction. Well, 7 doesn't go into 64, but it does go into 63. It goes into 63 nine times with one remainder. And that would be the same answer just as a mixed fraction. So this is mixed. That's a mixed fraction. And that is an improper fraction. Sometimes the answer will be this way. Sometimes the answer will be this way. So just take a look at the answers that are there and see if any of them match. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much.